Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Psychonauts. Last time we entered the giant hulking lungfish's head and uh, terrorized the city of Lungfishopolis as Gogalore. But now we have to cross over and destroy this tower and free these people of Kochamera's rule. Hopefully. Hopefully I won't sink on these boats. That would be bad. Ugh. Ugh. And I know I missed a bag, actually. I can see it over there. <laughs> well, we're sorry to report that the miserable and incompetent Lungfish Navy is all but sunk. Great work, losers. Now, Kochamara himself will have to come all the way down here just to save our worthless hides. Authorities are calling for a big parade in Kochamara's honor after he clobbers the annoying giant Gogalore. And if the parade is big enough, Kochamara promises not to destroy the city. Brush teeth more often, don't drool so much. <laughs> Well, I kind of already destroyed most of your city, so... Sorry. Oh my god. The epic battle of the century! Gogalore versus Kochamara! Hey everyone! Here comes Kochamara! Give up while you can, Gogalore. I know it's you in there, Coach. I don't know where you're broadcasting from, but I'm gonna find out and make you show me what happened to Lily. Kochamara does not speak giant monster boy language. The only word you're gonna need is ouch. Fighting oh, God! Ugh, this fight's actually pretty rough. Deadly tiger beam. Yeah. But as long as we use our shield and dodge... Effectively, we should be able to do this. Deadly tiger beam. Oh. <laughs> Coach, get out of that Deadly costume. Deadly tiger beam. Hmm. So Sasha showed you how to save up your aggressive energy, huh? Well, why don't I help you let it all out? <laughs> Oh my god! The <laughs> ground version. Overly intricate combination! Uh, uh. to avoid area attack! Overly Oops, oh yeah, he drained me of my... Intricate combination! <laughs> to avoid area attack! Whoops. Mighty Ram ground version! Ground version. Man, I gotta get used to his. Uh. To avoid area attack. Mighty round ground version. To avoid area attack. I can read your moves like a book, thanks to your shouting them out all the time. <laughs> Uh. Deadly tiger beam! Mighty round ground vision! Mighty round ground vision! <laughs> Overly intricate combination! <laughs> Hard to avoid area attack! Still hit me! Oh my god, he's almost dead! Mighty <laughs> to avoid area attack. You are going down. The 
full of unfish opolis. I'm sorry I let you down. <laughs> Finally! Okay, Tower. Get ready for Gogalore. Serves you right. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Freaking coach. Okay, so I guess that's all that's really over here. Woo! Yeah, that fight is really hard if you don't learn the attacks fast enough. But you don't realize these buildings are full of health, which is also nice. I wonder if there's anything behind here. Nope. Okay, let's destroy this tower and get out of here. Actually, while we were fighting there, I remembered that I didn't show you something. <laughs> um, from Oleander's Mind. Oleander's Shame. So we haven't seen this one. So there's young Oleander signing up for the military. Oh, but he doesn't meet the height requirements. So he got kicked out of the army. Kicked out of the Air Force, and kicked out of the Navy, and kicked out of chef school. And he vowed revenge! He'll show them! Somehow. <laughs> I guess that's what he's doing. Anywho, let's climb this tower! Whoop! Music's all calm now. It's nice. Fine. Take control of this freaky toad. I don't need him to nab children for me anymore. I've got the brain of a little girl back in my lab that's strong enough to power a whole army of psychoblaster death tanks. Huh? <laughs> what? You've got the brain of a little girl? <laughs> I said, in my lab. I think you've got the muscles of a little girl, too. <laughs> Good one. that it is I the creature whose spirit was once um, <clears throat> over here behind you yes oh. the creature whose spirit was once enslaved by the evil one you have unchained my soul and now I shall repay you powerful human child oh uh, great well okay show me what you did to my friend Lily by the drowned spirit of Oblongata, it is done. Uh. When it is your wish to travel across the lake, you may return to either shore and summon me with that. Thanks, hulking lungfish. You know, you really aren't as hideous as people say. You may call me now by my true name, Rasputin. The name given to me by my people. And what name is that, noble lake creature? Linda. What a magical lady. Linda. Oh, figures. Okay, so we can call the hulking lungfish whenever, we, I mean Linda, whenever we want and cross the lake to get to this scary abandoned insane asylum island. Ugh. That can't be good. 
get up there. Hey. Have you closed, Cena? Hey, I was talking to you. Huh? Who are you working for? What? Uh... I'm with the Psychonauts. The who? Oh, that doesn't fit in. That doesn't fit in at all. Maybe I've got this all wrong. Okay, okay, but... Hmm... No, no, wait, I mean... Right... The five richest families in the country with the full blessing of... Ha! The suits! The, who are the puppet masters? Who do you work for? I'm the guard. I've been fully trained. <laughs> oh my god. Masters of the well, he seems a little bit loopy. Uh, ate a whole jar of olives with those eggheads in the ivory tower. I guess I'm locked uh, outside. I'm locked on the outside and I'm locked on the inside. Huh. The floor I Looks like this guard needs a little help with his brainal brainlessness. Whoa, Lily's bracelet. Wow, I didn't even... Uh, when did we get that? Oh, maybe it was inside the lungfish. Huh. Juicers. With the full blessing. I don't think I want to put this oh, bracelet oh, on just yet. I think Lily and I need to talk uh, about our no, relationship no, first. Oh. All right. Well, let's go inside the guard's head and see if we can sort out his business. Yeah. Not another tracking device. Isn't it? Yes. Almost complete. Just a few missing pieces. Yes, now which piece talks about the milkman? The one who opens the asylum gate? But it's all about the milkman. Can't you see? Is this like one of those 3D paintings? I can never do those. No, you just gotta learn to see it like I see it. There's something in the fridge that might help you see the world. Like I do. Ooh, sorry. Uh, I don't drink. Before noon, I mean. The squirrels have eyes. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see what's in the fridge. Oh ho ho! Clairvoyance lets you see through the eyes of another. Try it on a person directly or on a handheld object that bears the special aura, the eyeball. Okay. Wow, look at all these figments in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Manager of that boy band with the full blessing. What? Uh. <laughs> the app? Dead? Ah, oh, crud. Burned up in a department store fire. Didn't you hear? At least that's what the media would have you believe. Is he dead or not? Go to the graveyard. Dig him up. Oh, you'll find something all right. But it's neither man nor milk. The military industrial okay. complex. Well, I guess we have to find, help the guard find the milkman. <laughs> Who are merely the pawns of the manager of that boy band. Be careful. They're watching all the time. Okay. Now, how am I going to find some creepy graveyard in this nice, normal neighborhood? Whoa. Something's a little twisted here. Okay. This, this area is so freaking cool. First of all, everything is like being surveillance. Like <laughs> trash cans have eyes in them. Oh my god. Oh 
There's a camera on that fire hydrant. There's people peeping from out their windows. Oh god. A flamingo? That's strange. Oh, well, there's no flamingo at all! Jeepers creepers. Maybe he's right to be a little bit, uh, suspicious. There's people watching here all the time. Ooh, a stop sign. Sweet! <laughs> We're gonna need that. Oh, yeah. There's actually a lot of stuff we need in here. This place is really crazy. Even stuff in the trees. Oh my god. <laughs> Being on a road crew is. Stop. Road crew workers only be on the yellow line. You guys are road crew workers? Yes, we work on the road with these red signs. I see. Well, do you guys know where the milkman is? Why do you ask that question? Are you the milkman? Do I look like a milkman to you? That information is restricted to the road crew. Please, move along. Road crew. Right. It is very hot here. Whoa! <laughs> well, how do you do there, Pit? Let's not do that again. Not a through street. Got it. Okay. So as you might suspect, you can't get through that yellow area without... This guy thinking we're part of the road crew. Men were ah, but we just happened to have found this sign. I'm on the road crew. This is my stop sign. Thank goodness it is Friday. Why? Hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. Oh, thank you. It's great being on the road crew. Working with this red sign. The road is out, and we are working on it. <laughs> They're Look at digging that with his breasts. They're large. What? My word! Stop. Stop. In the name of the... Yeah, but this, this is a really cool mind. Because you have to figure out how you can fit in with all these secret spies and all their various duties. And they all say very ridiculous things. <laughs> Which is awesome. Okay. Operator. Give me number nine. Give me number nine. I am fixing the telephone lines. Yes, you are. Someday, the popularity of mobile phones will make my job obsolete. Ooh, money. I wear sunscreen while cutting hedges to prevent melanomas from forming on my skin. That's a good idea. This part of the hedge is too dark. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, everything they say is so crazy. I love it. So yeah, we have to actually go to all those um, surveillance cars and try to get different items out of them, I think. This part actually tripped me up for quite a while, because I didn't know you could open up those trunks. <laughs> like this one. Wonk. Aha! I like to trim hedges. Sweet! Got the hedge trimmers. Yeah. It's just so cool, like you're walking through a neighborhood, but it's so distorted. It's awesome. Hey, there's a little girl. Hello, sir. I am a rainbow squirt. Would you like to buy a box of my delicious rainbow treats? I would buy some cookies, but I don't have any milk. Do you have any idea where I could buy some milk for my cookies? Ah! Creepy man! Creepy? Why is that creepy? <laughs> I just want some milk! <laughs> uh, well, let's go back to those hedge clippers, people. I can remember where the heck I am. Ugh. Hello, fellow clippers. I'm glad you are here to, to help me trim these hedges. Yeah, no problem, man. That's what I do. I trim hedges. I just had some frap slag there. Sweet. 
I take frequent breaks to avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> oh! Enemies who use melee attacks when you're shielded are now knocked uh, now knocked back. I don't think I even got that before. They help me maintain my edge. Oh, I'm gonna put that right there. I am trimming this hedge. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Cutting the bush does not hurt. No, no, I want, I want, I want levitation. Yeah. Did. Okay. Sweet. Hedges become a little rainbow squirt won't send me cookies because I don't have any mirror. Don't have milk and don't have cookies. What do you got? Nothing. You got nothing. Hello? I need to prevent blockages, and this device is one of my tools. A plunger? Due to illegal disposal of hazardous materials, sewer water is often highly radioactive. <laughs> the sewer is very important, and we are responsible for its upkeep. He's playing it like a trumpet. <laughs> Sewers are full of rats. I sure hope not. Got it. This hat box needs a hat box tag. I don't have one of those. Yeah. This place can get really confusing. Yeah. Looks like I'm gonna meet up with that area anyway. Hopefully. <laughs> Don't cry, Hatbox. There's a memory over there. Uh, Boyd fired again. Boyd Cooper. The guard. His boss is yelling at him. Boyd. This is the last time. I can't let you do this anymore. Just take your things and get out. Boyd is very mad. What did I do this time? Hernandez, I don't like you very much. So I'm gonna throw a Molotov milk bottle at you. Yes, that's right. Burn! Burn, you fools! Oh, no, wait, I'm not crazy. I just got fired, is all. Bummer. Poor Boyd. He was just upset. Anybody would be being fired as a guard. Whoa. Hey, um. Oh boy. I don't want to accidentally get inside that box over there. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. I don't have a tag for him either. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. <laughs> what on earth? Missing tags all over the place. What are they, mourning? I guess. <laughs> Wonder if I can go up here? Hit. On the tree? Nope. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Stop filming me! Okay, let's go to this neighborhood. Whoop! <laughs> it's just a wormhole away. Plants need to have water poured on them because they have no hands to hold glasses of water. True. Enjoy water and um, let's see here. How do I get over? The oh. oh, man, it's so weird. <laughs> Such a weird place. I wonder if I have to go on the outside of this. Let's just take a quick peeky reeky. I don't want to fall. Oh my god, there is a figment back here. What in the world? Did I miss one? No. Wow, why would they hide one all the way back here? Jerks! 
Uh oh. I'm starting to lag. Oh god. This is very frightening. What? Oh man. Oh well. I am entering. Okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> This time, let's stay on the outside. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, they have to put it on the scariest part. Yikes. Okay. Let's get out of here. Ugh. Oh wow, look, the underside is a bunch of paper clippings. Like his wall of... of evidence. <laughs> that the milkman is not actually dead. Okay. Um... What's in here? We'll get whatever's in here and then I'll just end this part, I think. It's getting to be quite lengthy. Hello. Seen any suspicious characters around here lately? A bird flew away and he left his feather. Sometimes you can use clairvoyance sign objects to... Okay. Well, let's do it. Oh wow, we get the bird's eye point of view. How does it work? It opened! And then it closed. Okay, so... We just have to go through here... And then not go back through it. Aha! Sneaky! I am a grieving widow. Observe my flower. A grieving widow. Cause that's the only person that holds a flower like that. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna end this part here, guys, and next time we'll continue through Boyd the guard's head and hopefully help him find the milkman. So yeah, see you guys next time.